The United States is home to a significant African-American population. But have you ever considered how this population is distributed across the states? You might not even know the state your favorite African-American icon comes from. Welcome to our channel, where we delve into fascinating and educational topics about the African-American community in the U.S. In this video, we promise to provide both informative and entertaining insights into the states with the highest African-American populations, along with cultural and historical contexts. The contributions of African-Americans to contemporary America are undeniable, with many holding positions of power and driving positive change in their communities. Moreover, their cultural impact is evident across various regions. Today, we will explore the top 10 states with the largest African-American populations, highlighting some cultural and historical insights. Number 10, Tennessee. Although Tennessee ranks 10th on this list, the state has a considerable African-American population compared to other states. To put this in perspective, Montana, the whitest state in America, has a black population of only about 0.7%, whereas Tennessee boasts 16.7%. Out of Tennessee's 95 counties, 19 have an African-American population exceeding 10%, with most of this population residing in the western part of the state. Notable examples include Shelby County, where African-Americans make up 52.1% of the population, and Haywood County, with 50.4% the bustling city of Memphis, with over 400,000 African-American residents, is a major population center for this ethnic group. Memphis is a vibrant hub with a rich cultural heritage and continues to play a key role in the story of African-Americans in Tennessee. The African-American history in Tennessee is a mix of struggle and perseverance. From the colonial era until the Civil War's end in 1865, slavery was a harsh reality. Despite early abolitionist activists, the state's 1834 constitution supported slavery due to the influence of elite planters. Laws were created to expel newly freed black residents and promote European immigration, but a resilient group of free African Americans stayed strong despite facing violence. After slavery's end and the passing of the 15th Amendment in 1870, which allowed black men to participate in politics, black Tennesseans became active in shaping the state during Reconstruction. Many joined the Republican Party and made their voices heard in the state legislature. Among these pioneers was Samuel McElwee, who served in the 1880s and even received a nomination for Speaker of the House. Fast forward to the early 21st century, and African Americans represent 13.3% of Tennessee's legislature. Number 9. Virginia African Americans are the largest racial minority group in Virginia. The 2010 census showed that more than 1.5 million Virginians, or about one in five, identified as Black or African American. By the 2020 U.S. Census, the African American population in Virginia had settled at 18.8%. This state holds the distinction of being the entry point for Africans to America in 1619. However, Virginia's Black population has been on the decline in recent years. They are historically Black Protestants or members of the Black Church, a vibrant faith community made up of Christian denominations and congregations in the United States that primarily serve and are led by African Americans. In terms of cities, Petersburg, Emporia, and Franklin lead the pack with high Black populations. Petersburg itself is about 75% Black, while Virginia Beach's Black population stands at 20%, making it home to the largest number of African Americans in a Virginia city. Virginia's legacy and civil rights history are strong, with the state playing a key role in the Brown v. Board of Education protests, which were instrumental in ending racial segregation in public schools. The state is also home to Hampton University, one of the country's earliest black colleges. Virginia is more progressive compared to other states due to the high rate of black-white interracial marriages. Notable figures from Virginia include legendary tap dancer Bill Bojangles Robinson, tennis great Arthur Ashe, and R&B singer Chris Brown. Number 8. North Carolina Slavery has deep roots in North Carolina's history, stretching back to the late 1600s and early 1700s when European colonists first established their presence in the region. The earliest enslaved Africans in North Carolina were brought over from the West Indies, 
with many more arriving directly from Africa. Unfortunately, detailed records of the tribes and origins of these enslaved people were not maintained. African Americans in North Carolina endured significant racial segregation as most white residents aimed to solidify the Jim Crow system and uphold the structures of systematic discrimination. This history left a profound impact on the state's culture. According to the 2010 U.S. Census, African Americans made up 22% of the state's population. Fayetteville stands out with its 200,000 residents, 42% of whom are black. Other cities with significant black populations include Kinston, Rocky Mount, and Wilson, with Kinston topping the list with 65% black residents. Durham, North Carolina is known for its Black Wall Street, a hub of successful black-owned businesses and entrepreneurs. Booker T. Washington often praised Durham for its relatively harmonious race relations. Edenton is the birthplace of Harriet Jacobs, the renowned author and former slave, while TV personality and writer Star Jones hails from Baden. Singer and rapper Jermaine Dupri grew up in Asheville, adding to the state's rich cultural heritage. The black community in North Carolina engages with Twitter in a fun and creative way, using black hashtags to create tighter online networks and retweeting one another more frequently to increase visibility. This online trend even has its own Reddit forum called Black People Twitter, which celebrates these online communities. Number seven, Delaware. In Delaware, 21.3% of residents identify as black. Over the past decade, the state's black population has grown by 10%, particularly concentrated in the cities of Wilmington and Dover, where black residents make up 57% and 40% of the population, respectively. These two cities alone are home to about a third of Delaware's entire black population. Delaware is also home to Delaware State University, a historically black university that is superb for the black middle-class community. Delaware was the first state to join the union back in 1787, and interestingly, it was also considered a border state. Although the state played both sides during the Civil War, slavery wasn't fully abolished in Delaware until the 13th Amendment was ratified in 1865. During the Great Depression, Black Americans had it rough, often bearing the brunt of economic turmoil as they were the last to be hired and the first to be let go. WPA investigators reported that a staggering 60% of employable Black Americans lacked any form of visible support with another 20% relying on work relief and the remainder in farm labor or domestic roles. The 1960s brought civil rights challenges and triumphs, including riots and disturbances in Wilmington following Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination. Wilmington saw a rise in its black population, which constituted 40% of its residents by 1970, a significant increase. The city also witnessed a shift in political power as James Sills became Wilmington's first black mayor in 1993. Famous black Americans from Delaware include NBA players AJ English and Stevie Graham, as well as Franklin from Charlie Brown. However, it's not all flowers in Delaware, as the American Council on Science and Health reports that the black murder rate in the state is four times the national average, a somber statistic that deserves your attention. The city of Wilmington holds the dubious distinction of having the highest black homicide rate per capita in the country. Number six, Alabama. African Americans in Alabama are part of the state's rich tapestry of history, tracing their roots back to the era of slavery and the Civil War. They've journeyed through emancipation, the Reconstruction era, and faced the shadows of white supremacy with the Ku Klux Klan and the heavy grip of Jim Crow laws. The civil rights movement brought their struggle for justice into the spotlight, paving the way for progress into modern times. As of the 2020 census, roughly 25.8% of Alabama's population proudly identifies as African American, highlighting the enduring legacy and vibrant presence of black Alabamians throughout the state's history. In 1890, Alabama saw the rise of its very first black owned and black operated bank, the Penny Savings Bank founded by the ambitious William R. Pettiford. The Lincoln Normal School holds a special place in history as one of the oldest HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities in the United States, opening its doors in 1867, just two years after the American Civil War. 
The school served as a beacon of hope for black education until its closure in 1970. Over the past decade, the percentage of African Americans in Alabama has increased by 4%, showcasing the state's rich black heritage. Tuskegee tops the charts, boasting a 95% black population, the highest in the state. Number five, South Carolina. In South Carolina, 27% of the population identifies as black. Intriguingly, this figure is a 4.7% decrease from a decade ago, making South Carolina one of just two states on this list to witness a decline in its black population percentage. Marion takes the lead as the state's blackest city with a substantial 78% black population, while the capital city, Columbia, has a notable 40% black population. South Carolinians have a rich history intertwined with the state's complex past. Until the abolition of slavery, the free black population in the state never surpassed 2%. Today, African Americans make up 22% of South Carolina's legislature. In 2014, Tim Scott became the state's first African American U.S. Senator since Reconstruction. Meanwhile, cities in South Carolina were making history with the election of Stephen K. Benjamin as mayor in Columbia in 2010. Terrence Roberts as Anderson's mayor in 2006, and Barbara Blaine Bellamy as Conway's first African American female mayor in 2015. South Carolina's General Assembly has some diversity too, with 44 of its 172 members being African American, accounting for about 26% of the group. Number four, Maryland. Maryland's vibrant black culture is significantly influenced by its bustling city of Baltimore, where 65% of the population is black, making it a hub of rich history and heritage. With Maryland's total population standing at 5.2 million, nearly 29.3% of residents identify as black. Other Maryland cities with significant black populations include District Heights and Glenarden, with District Heights having an impressive 86% black population. Southern Maryland was home to Matthias de Sousa, the first individual of African descent to serve in an American legislature. When Maryland first started, it wasn't officially labeled a slave state, though there were whispers about the founders being involved in the slave trade. Initially, the region offered hope for those who came as servants, as they could eventually earn their freedom after completing their service. Sadly, this hopeful beginning was short-lived. By 1642, the first enslaved Africans arrived in Maryland, and by 1694, the enslavement of African descendants had become an established part of life in the colony. However, that is now in the past. Outstanding figures such as Harriet Tubman, born in Dorchester County, Maryland, played key roles in shaping the history of civil rights and activism. Meanwhile, civil rights lawyer Thurgood Marshall, NAACP founder Webb Du Bois, and rapper Logic, are among other notable people hailing from the state. Black Americans have contributed countless innovations to the state, including Garrett Morgan's traffic light in 1923 and Lonnie Johnson's super soaker, which continues to make summer fun for kids and adults alike. Number three, Georgia. According to the 2010 U.S. Census, African Americans made up 31.2% of Georgia's population, making the state home to the second largest African American community in the country, right behind Texas. Georgia also has a rich Gullah community with deep-rooted traditions and heritage. Spanish colonists brought the first African slaves to Georgia as early as 1526, initiating a troubling chapter in the state's history. The enslaved people were primarily brought from Angola, Sierra Leone, and the Gambia, as well as from other parts of the Caribbean and the mainland United States. Union City, a suburb of Atlanta, claims the highest black population in Georgia at 86%, while Savannah's population is 56% black. Atlanta itself is seeing its black population spread into the surrounding suburbs. 10 years ago, the city was 61% black, but now it's down to 
Historically, Georgia's population was half black until the Civil War era, when many black families left the rural South for the industrial North. Atlanta also has a special place in civil rights history as the birthplace of Martin Luther King Jr., the influential American Baptist minister and civil rights leader. Since 1973, Atlanta has continuously elected black mayors, including national figures like Andrew Young and Maynard Jackson. The black power in the state is significant, as even Jackson's election garnered support from the predominantly white business community, including leaders of Coca-Cola, Citizens and Southern National Bank, the Trust Company of Georgia, and architect John Portman. These business leaders hoped for a progressive partnership between downtown and City Hall, but were unprepared for the extent of support Jackson provided to the black community by promoting minority-owned businesses and neighborhood organizations. Number two, Louisiana. Today, Louisiana has the fifth largest black population in the U.S. and ranks second only to Mississippi in terms of the proportion of African Americans in its population. According to the 2020 U.S. Census, individuals of African descent make up 32% of Louisiana's residents, a significant 7% rise in the last decade. This boost adds 880,000 more black Americans to the Louisiana community compared to a decade ago. The suburban towns of Bastrop near Monroe and Baker near Baton Rouge take the lead in terms of cities with the highest black concentration, with around 80% black residents in each. New Orleans has about a 60% black population, earning it the title of the seventh highest black population among large U.S. cities. Number one, Mississippi. Mississippi's African-American community makes up the largest percentage of the state's population, standing at 37.8%, the highest in the country. Mississippi saw a large influx of black slaves in the 1830s, with an estimated 100,000 enslaved people entering the state. The heart of the slave trade was centered at the Forks of the Road market in Natchez. Despite once holding the majority of the state's population before the Civil War and through the 1930s, African Americans now represent about 37% of Mississippi's residents. The Great Migration saw nearly 400,000 African Americans depart the state in search of better opportunities up north and beyond. Today, around 16% of the state's African American voting age population faces disenfranchisement due to felony convictions, highlighting ongoing challenges in the state's journey toward equality and justice. The city of Jackson in Mississippi has a stunning 80% black population, putting it second only to Detroit for the highest concentration of black Americans in the U.S. If that's not enough, there are a whopping 10 cities in Mississippi with more than 5,000 residents where 70% or more are black. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content.